All right, guys, so today we're going to be going over the LR Goku, the LR Kid Gohan, and the LR Bojack team building guides. Now, it's not going to be a really in-depth guide. They're going to be guides in terms of basically who links best with them overall in-game and who links best within their respective mono teams. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, we're going to start out with the Goku, um, Thousand Wishes of Goku, Thousands of Wishes Goku. Um, this is the LR Goku that you get from the Thousand Day Login Reward. Leader ability, all types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense, plus 100%. So he's going to be, once he is obtained, and obviously it's going to be the veteran players who obtain this guy. I'm only a couple hundred days, I think I'm like 200 and something days away from it on the, actually like 230 days from it away from, on the global side. So um, I will have it soon, and when I get him, um, I will definitely make sure to showcase him, so that way everyone can take a look and see how he is um, with his team. I'm sure there will be multiple videos of that of going on in the future. But anyway, um, so this is who he is. Uh, he does Spirit Bomb and Super Spirit Bomb for his 12 and 18 key supers, Colossal and Mega Colossal. Uh, the Colossal damage is 12 to 17 key, gives attack plus 20% for one turn, um, and the Mega Colossal is attack and defense plus 25% for one turn. So overall, pretty freaking cool. He's a good unit um, in terms of leader ability and super attack. Passive skill is really good as well. Uh, decent anyway. Attack plus 77%, which you can't ask for more. Attack plus 77% on an LR is pretty damn decent damage. Uh, he's not going to be out damaging LR Gohan, but he can compete with him up to a certain extent. I think it's like up to maybe four, three or four key orbs he can compete with him up until. Um, but, you know, that's also not taken into consideration that LR Gohan also gets off his Mega Colossal almost all the time due to his other, due to his passive. Anyway, attack and defense plus 7% up and HP plus 777 per key sphere obtained. So you're going to want to run him with some um, key orb manipulators in order for him to get that uh, hit off the attack and defense and HP buffs. Uh, so definitely go for key orb manipulators. I'm not going to go over the key orb manipulators to run with him. Uh, just take a look at your box and see who you have that actually runs it. You can also go onto the wiki and type in key change, and you could look it up over there to see who has that. Link abilities are Z Fighters, all in the family, experienced fighters, prepared for battle, supreme power, the Saiyan lineage, Saiyan uh, legendary power, and max stats are HP of 13,872, attack of 12,548, and defense of 7,429. Um, 12 key multiplier of 140%, and 24 key of 200%. Uh, overall, really good unit. I really like him. Let's jump into it. Uh, first off, the uh, one other thing I wanted to say about the key orb manipulation. Chances are you're going to want to run that on any LR, so maybe I'll go over that in a different uh, video at some point. But uh, yeah, key orb manipulators. Uh, so this is the Goku. This is everyone who he links three or more with on an SSR or higher base. So on the left-hand side, you have all the SSRs. On the bottom, you have the TURs. On the right, well, these are technically should be you know also part of the TUR list. And the right, right, which we're going to go over in this section, is his best linking buddies. So uh, you have the Technique Vegito, the SSR variant, he links very well with him. For some reason the TUR variant, oh no, the TUR variant does link well with him as well for three. So they're hitting each other's uh, key links off, I thought I hit translate, I guess it's the only page I didn't translate. Um, so they're getting each other off with, stop it. <laughs> uh, Saiyan's blood uh, attribute, so prepare for battle, Saiyan lineage and build, uh, power build, what is that? Legendary power, no. Oh, the, su the supreme power. Um, so that's what that is. He hits off links with the ultimate Gohan as well. So it's pretty much just the same across the board with most of these guys. Uh, Sun Family saying Blood Z Warrior. Uh, same thing with the take the physical the Gohan. Yeah, but there we go. Speak English. <laughs> uh, Sun Family saying Blood uh, Supreme Power. Then you have this Goku. The I guess this is the. Is this the free to free? Yeah, this is the freely obtainable Ultra Instinct Goku, the physical one you grind out from the event. Uh, so he has Solitary Warrior, which is attack plus 10%, Saiyan Blood, Attitude, so prepared for battle. Uh, then you have the GT Gokus right over here, the kid ones, the physical and the agility. He gets Sun Family, Saiyan Blood, and Attribute. And I believe it's the same one for this one over here. Now, I mean, the, the, those the defense plus 15 percent up really. I mean, Sun Family, he has that. I guess it can come into come in pretty handy at some point. But, I mean, it's not something you're going to be focusing your teams around with that defensive build. What's cool is he does link, hit off three key links. Um, well, three, uh, sorry, three key with two links with that LR Broly, so that's cool. And he has Legendary Power, which is attack plus 5,000. So there's no actual percentage attack buff, which is something that we would prefer to have. But the fact is, if you're, it's like, World Tournament time, you can actually link these two together. And that's something you want to also, well, you know, look for in terms of who he links well with. Uh, because Broly links well with him, you're going to go ahead and want to run this guy at the World Tournament if you're able to obtain him. It gives you that additional HP attack and defense buff for everyone on the field. It's better than running the, the extreme Janemba 
the, the strength gen number that is on the, the world tournament just because you're going to give everyone an attack buff especially if you're running like the Chiaotzu and Jocko combination for the stun all uh, really really beneficial anyway so the Broly yeah that's really awesome and then we're going to go actually jump over here for the last two so this is going to be the Goku from the world tournament reward uh, not the World Tournament Award, the free, the free one that was given out to everyone. Uh, this is his Dokkan variant. He hits off four key links, Sun Family, Solitary Warrior, Z Warrior, and, well, it was that Supreme Power. So he's getting off a 15% defensive buff, 25% attack buff, and a flat out 1,000 uh, to attack and defense. Uh, in terms of the other one is the LR Gohan, who also has Sun Family, Saiyan Blood, Z Warrior, and Legendary Power. Both of them are pretty decent. Um, obviously, there's no real good key links between the LR Gohan and the LR Goku. It's actually funny because every time I say LR Gohan and LR Goku, I'm thinking of the OGs, the Super Saiyan Goku and the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. No, that's not it. <laughs> but um, yeah, these are his two best linking buddies in game. Honestly, I don't ever see you running the LR K Kid Gohan and LR Goku in the same team unless like you're just doing it for fun. Uh, just because neither of the, I mean, I guess you could run the LR Gohan, but I mean, at that point, you have, if you have LR Goku, you're going to want to run him. And LR Gohan's passive, Kid Gohan's passive, well, we're going to go over that in a second, isn't really that great. Um, in terms of his mono strength team, I mean, he only really links well with three or more on any type of strength team. I mean, if you're just doing heroes, he only links well with the STR Gohan, Ultimate Gohan. If you're just doing a flat out strength team, it's going to be LR Broly and the um, category lead Gohan. So take that for what you will. I don't think that either of I don't think that you, this would be a very viable person to throw on a team myself. Um, but you know what? You can run him if you would like to, uh, especially if you're lacking some better characters. But the thing is, if you're if you have like LR Gohan, I'm sorry, LR Gohan, Category Gohan, or LR Broly, chances are you're not going to want to run this Goku as a leader. Plus, these guys link better with a couple other characters anyway. But you can throw him on that team, and these are his two best linking buddies on that team. Uh, Broly and Gohan, we already went over their link skills. So now we're going to go, as you probably saw a little bit, of, I had the notepad. It's just because this freaking stupid wiki. Um, you try to you log in on one tab, and then the other tabs won't log in, and then you have to stay on the... See, look at that. See, I'm trying to, I was trying to get it, so that way this freaking bar goes away up top, because it won't go away right now, which is a pain, because it gives you guys less of a screen to actually see what's happening. I hate that. <laughs> uh, imposing Brave Figure Gohan Kid. We're going to go over him right now. Let's just make sure... Yeah, okay, so we're going to go over here. All right, Imposing Brave Figure, Gohan Kid, Leader Abilities, All Types, Key, Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense, Plus 77%, Super, uh, super Attack, Power Pole, 12 to 17 Key, and Transform, which 18 plus keys when he goes into a Grade 8. Uh, his Colossal Damage, 12 to 17 Power Pole, uh, Colossal Damage, the enemy rare chance to stun, which is meh. I feel like that for an LR, I mean, yes, yes, he is freely obtainable, but he's hard to obtain because even though it's freely obtainable, technically, that event is really difficult. And I'm still all for the event. I'm sorry for you, who, for those of you who don't think that event is worth it. I highly am happy. Like I, have a, I have a huge level of happiness for the event that they came out with because it's so freaking difficult. I mean, so I even saw like different types of teams. Someone actually was talking about a, an Android 13 build. Uh, you know, the damage reduction. It's like 80% damage reduction across the board. Now, I don't know how well that's going to work. Just because, you know, at that point, you know, they're maybe doing like a thousand damage and stuff like that. But, you know, you still have to worry about your key, your uh, your stats because you don't actually have that good of a stat buff. But anyway, uh, we're not talking about that right now. Um, I think that this is a pretty damn good call a card. Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Pass the skill, key to the fate. This is where he kind of drops off. Defense plus 10,000 at the start of the turn. When HP is 50% or below, key plus 5, and attack plus 25,000 but defense minus 10,000. So he loses that defense buff at the, well, that he gains at the start of the turn um, when HP is 50% or below. But he does gain that nice 25,000 st uh, stat buff for attack. At the same time, I don't think it's really worth it just because it's only 25,000. They should have given him something like maybe 50,000. I mean, with the way that the cards are hitting now in game, I don't feel like 25,000 really flat out boost is not really worth it. Um, key plus five is nice though, so that's awesome. He'll, he'll probably most likely have, well, he'll have a higher chance of getting off that Mega Colossal. Link skills are the Innocent Saiyan Warrior Race, all in the family, the Saiyan Lineage, Z Fighters, Berserker, Legendary Power. It's part of the hybrid Saiyan category, and he has max stats of HP of 15,816, attack of 12,094, and defense of 7,024. Gohan Super Attack with Power Pulse after Saiyan yep, transforms. 12 key multiplier, 140%, 24 key multiplier is 200% overall. Not a great unit. Uh, he's cool for those of you who want that um, good leader ability. Uh, I, I don't know, I haven't seen the damage output of the card, you know, and that's what most of these cards are based off of either. They, each one has a gimmick. 
you either dodge, you either defend, you either counter, you either stun, seal, something like that. I feel like his the, his passive skill doesn't warrant anything, like doesn't really make him stand out. It's only his leader ability, so in terms of how he is as a character, I guess it's cool because he gives himself like greatly raises attack on Mega Colossal. At the same time, I just feel like, you know, they could have done a little bit better, uh, at least with his super attack or his passive skill. Anyway, let's talk about team building. In terms of who he links with, he links with a lot of characters, so we're not going to like go into all the link skills here just because there's way too many, but he links well with obviously all the Brolies because of that Berserker. That Berserker trait is really what, what hooks him up with those Brolies, uh, and the Coroli and the uh, Khalifa, well not Khalifa, Kale. I think Kale's in here, is she? Uh, no, Kale's not in here. Alright, so never mind, Kale isn't in here. Uh, but you have uh, Bur uh, Coroli, which is the fusion from Kakarot and, Coro uh, Kakarot and Broly. So they link well with each other. They all share the Berserker link, and that's why. they. And I don't know what the other one is. Let's see. Uh, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, and uh, yeah, Battle Ethic Saiyan, or Saiyan Warrior Race. So that's pretty much the same across the board for all these, uh, except for the LR Broly, who also has the legendary power that he shares with them. So it's not horrible to run with him. The, th the problem is... Berserker isn't a really good link skill, in my opinion. It's way too, you know, it's difficult because Berserker is when HP is 50% or less. Once you get below 50%, chances are you're going to want to heal. And if you don't heal that round, you're going to heal the following round. So for that to actually fall properly for you is very difficult. And it doesn't give you a defensive buff either. It only gives you that attack buff. So you're still more of a glass tank, more or less, depending on who you're running. Um... Plus, like, someone like Frieza, whose passive d disappears when HP is 6% or below, it doesn't, it's not really, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth it, personally. I don't like Berserker. I don't really like the Link skill. I think it's uh, one of those things where it was a cool an idea in the Inception. It should have gotten a buff uh, when they redid all the Link skills. Like, maybe when HP is 80% or below, kind of like Big Bad, ba big bad Bosses. Anyway, uh, also the TUR Goku, the Spirit Bomb Goku. He has um, Saiyan Warrior Race, Sun Family Z Warrior. Pan, Gotenks, Pan, well actually, yeah, this is the this is the uh, GT Pan, uh, Mass Saiyan and Gohan, the LR Kid Goten and Trunks, and the LR Goku, as we already spoke about. Now, what's cool here is if you guys have noticed, you know, the Pan, the Gotenks, the other Pan, uh, Honeybee Pan, um, and this Ultimate Gohan over here, all these guys have Saiyan category. So you could actually run this LR Gohan on the half Saiyan category if you're lacking good cards to throw in that category. So that's something they can take into consideration as well. Again, I wouldn't recommend it if you have him. I mean, it's cool, I guess, if you want to, like, 100% him. I don't find a good reason to 100% him. Maybe it's just because he's an LR. Everyone likes to have max out LRs. Personally, I don't find maxing out all the LRs worth it. Only certain ones like Majin Vegeta or LR Gohan and possibly LR Broly, depending on how you're utilizing him. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, so he's really cool for a hybrid Saiyan team. Plus, you know, plus these guys, the LR Goten and Trunks, also work on a hybrid Saiyan team as well. So... You know, take that into consideration when you're thinking about team building guides. Uh, but he does link decently, you know. I mean, if you were to take away Berserker, all these Brolies would not be here. And I personally don't like the Berserker link skill. So you have a whole bunch of other link skills that you could actually work with there. That could defense with that ultimate Gohan really is, sounds like a good plan. Um, in terms of best linking buddies overall, um, obviously the LR Goku we already talked about and the LR Broly we talked about. He also has the Goku Jr., the base form of Goku Jr. anyway. Uh, did I not translate this? Okay do that uh and so this is the free-to-play goku by the way uh i would never recommend utilizing him um same blood same warrior race uh sun family the, uh, you know the gohan fam goku family and z warrior um again not really great and the go the goku jr you can 100 percent him as well uh i don't really like running the free-to-play cards that much i mean i guess if lr kid gohan was usable in the LR Freeze event, and at this time, it's 1029, the event came out yesterday. Um, if that LR Go uh, Gohan is viable in like the Go LR Goku event or the LR Freeze event, then I could say, okay, fine, you could run these two together. They link up very well, and they could do some decent damage. Outside of that, I don't ever see you running these two together on a team unless like you're a brand new player, but if you're a brand new player, you're not going to have the LR Gohan. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's that, and then one more thing is Monophysical Team. So, oh, he does hook up or link well with Kale. Um, so, I forgot, I didn't, why didn't she show up over here? That's interesting. Huh. Because the filter is for three or more on, oh, that's why I didn't do SSR. Because, oh, I did SSR and there were way too many over there. So, for SSR and higher, 
on the physical team, he does link with Kale. But again, it's because of that Berserker link, uh, link skill. Let's go translate there. Uh, Broly, obviously. So Broly, Kale, Gohan. Again, Berserker won't almost ever go off. So that kind of sucks. But he does link with a good support unit, who is the Pan over here. So if you have this Pan, she's a good support unit. She has the Innocence, 10%, Defense, plus 15%, and Key plus 1, which isn't amazing, but it's there. And then you have the uh, Goku from, I believe this was from the Korra event, the base from Goku. He has uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Sun Family, and Z Warrior. So, uh, not really that great for in terms of link skills on a monophysical team. I guess, you know, that Broly is gonna, obviously going to be a, a, not a staple, depends on how, how you're running the team. But that Broly is going to be someone you could you want to run on that team if you have some good linking buddies. Uh, same thing with this Kale, if you're doing the mono team. You, honestly, you would have to have that Trunks in the team in order for this to work well. Because the 70% leaders are so outdated at this point. Um, running a 70% team on most of the newer events, and let me specify the newer events, uh, wouldn't really be worth it. But at, the, at this point, if you were able to get this LR Gohan, I feel like you should be up to that new event level. Because it's very difficult. Unless you just got extremely lucky and were able to get one of those Gohans by completing one or two of the uh, levels. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that's that. So that's freaking awesome. Uh, go for that if you want to. Uh, that's the team. I don't recommend having him on the team myself, but you can throw him on the team if you don't have any other good units to throw on there. Um, next one we're going to do is the LR Bojack. And where is my wiki? There you are. So we're going to go over the Galactic Power, Full Power Bojack right now. And boom. And this guy is... Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, Galactic Invasion, full power Bojack, Galactic Warriors. He's the intelligence type. Leader ability is intelligence, extreme intelligence, key plus four, HP attack, and defense plus 100%, which I really like these. That's really awesome, especially with this. Um, I, I'm actually going to do a separate video uh, that's going to be coming up at some point later on, either this week or the weekend, next weekend, because it's Sunday technically. So um, I want to go over all of the ones we were able to vote on in terms of the LRs, because all of them are going to be available, I believe, at this point. I'm really waiting for that freaking Team Bardock, because once that Team Bardock comes on, like that's one of the only LRs. Um, other than maybe the Merge of Monster that I may wail out on. Uh, depends on how it is, because they're probably going to be featured. Anyway, it's Super Intelligence is key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack Galactic Buster, 12 to 17 key. Team Galactic Buster is 18 plus key. Uh, the 12 to 17 key is Colossal Damage, lowers defense. Mega Colossal is extreme type allies, attack plus 40% for one turn. Really good for extreme type enemies. I really like this guy. Uh, I just like the card. I think the card's freaking awesome. It's pretty damn badass. It's so ominous and scary and evil looking <laughs> you know um passive skill is a galaxy died in darkness attack and defense plus 80 percent at the start of the turn he gains more attack when hp is higher up to 70 percent gains more defense when hp is lower up to 70 percent so i don't know how the mechanics actually work there i'm sure someone on the reddit has done the math on there um i will go ahead and check it out and i'll bring that to you if i figure it out but essentially the higher the hp so 100 percent hp you get attack plus 70 percent uh, the lower the defense, I don't know until when that's capped off. I would probably say up to maybe 50% or 40%. If it stays with the HP, then you're probably going to get that. Um, but yeah, link skills are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, uh, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Shattering the Limit, Revival, and Legendary Power. Max stats are HP of 17,750, Attack of 14,765, and Defense of 10,294. Really nice stats, actually. 12 key is 140%, 12, 24 key is 200%. Um, he's part of the Revive Warrior category. Oh, honestly, badass card art. Really like it. Uh, in terms of overall linking buddies across the board, I kept it for SSR and higher for four link skills or more, just because they had enough of them to warrant it. Now, obviously, it's going to be the Bojacks, the Gokua, and that's about it. So, um, you, we can lower it to three, but there's way too many of them with three. So, obviously, his best linking buddy is his TUR variant. He has Big Bad Bosses, Resurrection, um, or Revival, uh, Thirst for Conquest, the Hero Clan. Um, Galactic Warrior and Sh Shattering the Limit, so he has a lot there. He has that six key. Um, big Bad Bosses, Attack and Defense plus 25% up when HP is 80% or below, so that's 25% sometimes. Thirst for Conquest is 15%, and Galactic Warrior is 20%. This guy is hooking himself up with so much damage. That's why he does so much freaking damage, especially when he's at 100% health. Oh my god, this guy's going to be such a freaking beast. Uh, definitely best linking buddy, but you have to pull both of the LRs in order for it to work. Same thing with the LR Gohan, so... You know, uh, it's not going to be very viable if you were able to pull him. Um, the same thing goes for his Undokan variant. This is his SSR variant of that LR. Same thing, except he just doesn't have shocking speed. Um, the other two that are a little bit more viable, and their their uh, Undokan counterparts are down here. I'm not going to go over them. Um, are going to be the STR and AGL Bojacks. 
Uh, essentially, these their Undo Clan variants just don't have Shattering the Limit, so it's Big Bad Bosses, uh, Thirst for Conquest, the Hera Clan, and Galactic Warrior, the same thing for the Agility type. So those are two really good linking buddies for him. He's going to give himself four key attack plus, so it's a 35% all the time, and then an additional 25% when his HP is 80% or below, which kind of sucks because at that point, you know, he's losing his attack buff, but once he gets below 80%, then at least he's getting the Big Bad Bosses to go off. Uh, and then last but not least is his, the Baba Shop Tech variant, which is the same exact thing as all the others. Big Bad Bosses Resurrection, Thirst for Conquest, the Hera Clan, and Galactic Warrior. So obviously anything that is not Team, well that is not Team Bojack, which is which means another LR. Sorry about that, I had to hiccup. Um, it's going to be a good linking setup for him. So any Bojack here, and any like any base form Bojack or the other Bojacks, even Zanya, um, she'd be a decent linking buddy for him and the Gokua would be a decent linking buddy for him. They're not in here, but that's because I kept it for, um, you know, specific for four or more. But, uh, yeah, let's go over here now and take a look. In terms of a monotech team for this Goku, uh, LR uh, Bojack, I mean, you have the base form, uh, obviously, and the TUR variant, obviously, which I just went over. And, the, well, interesting, you also have the uh, actual Turles, who has big bad bosses, stirs for conquest, and breaking the limit. So that's cool. Plus, remember, his passive is key plus three when HP is 50% or above. So he's giving actually 5 key, which is pretty damn awesome, and he gives him an additional 15% attack buff. Uh, so that's something to take into consideration. Big Bad Bosses are there as well, but not so much. But yeah, that's that, guys. Uh, I went over all the different, the three different LRs that just came out, and into a team building, I figured I'd throw them all into one video for you, so I have all the information's here. I tried to, like, I would prefer to break them up into different videos. Maybe I should have done that, but they would have been, like, 5 minutes a piece, maybe 10, maybe 8 minutes a piece. I prefer to give you one video for all that information. If you want me to go more in-depth on one of them, let me know in the comments below. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I think I, I still haven't done the LR Goten and Trunks for team building, so I'll go ahead and move forward with that. And I'm looking at some other cards I actually haven't done that have come out recently. But anyway, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.